Hello, welcome back. Today we are at my favorite cemetery in Denver, the Fairmount Cemetery. Not only is it a beautiful cemetery with lots of grand mausoleums and decorative and unique tombstones, but also there's lots of history and stories buried here. Lots of famous and prominent Coloradans reside here, so no doubt I will be back to do many more videos. Today we're going to be looking for the grave of Helen Peters Nosworthy. She was buried here in 1940. However, until recently, thanks to the Talking Board Historical Society, everyone now knows who she is and where her once unmarked grave is. So follow me to learn about her very interesting story. Helen Peters Nosworthy, the mother of the Ouija board, is the woman responsible for giving the Ouija its mysterious name. Letters from Charles Kennard, the man who claimed to invent the Ouija board, and his friend and business partner, Elijah Bond, the man who patented it, stated that a woman by the name of Miss Peters, Bond's sister-in-law, who was known as a strong medium, asked the then unnamed talking board what it would like to be called. The board spelled out O-U-I-J-A. And when asked what the term meant, it responded, good luck. Helen, who was an early stockholder in the company, later accompanied Elijah Bond to the patent office to help secure a patent. According to family lore, verified by patent file history, the patent office declined to award a patent to the talking board unless the founders could demonstrate its believed miraculous powers. Helen and Elijah then traveled to Washington, D.C., where they were denied by multiple patent inspectors until the chief patent officer took an interest in the device. He walked in and said, You don't know me and I don't know you. If this contraption can spell out my name, you've got your patent. When the board finished spelling out his name, the chief got up and started to walk out. He turned around white as a ghost and said to them, you've got your patent, and he walked out in a hurry. However, the board caused a feud in the Peters family, and Helen moved to Denver from Baltimore, Maryland, where she was born. She lived here in Denver from 1896 until she died in 1940. She had basically been erased from history. No one knew that there was a woman involved with the Ouija board. The year after the Ouija's 1890 introduction, Helen married her husband, Ernest Nosworthy, a Shakespearean actor and artist who later became a traveling salesman. It was with him and her stepdaughter, Mary, when she moved to Denver and where they lived out the remaining years. His lifelike drawing of Helen, drawn at a Hotel Gladstone in Norfolk, Virginia, is the only known surviving picture of young Helen, done in the period she named the iconic board. Her history was lost and no one knew who she was. When she died in 1940, she was buried in a family plot here. And sadly, as time rolled on, the Nosworthy family grave fell into obscurity and their grave was unmarked. Her identity was rediscovered by Talking Board Historical Society founder, Robert Merck. When he came across those letters from Charles, printed in the Baltimore Sun, mentioning the involvement of a Miss Peters. And then on September 22nd, 2018, the Talking Board Historical Society dedicated a new monument in order to honor and recognize Helen Peters and the Nosworthy family plot. So, we're coming up to her grave now with a new monument. It's 
pretty neat. Helen Peters Nosworthy. The woman who named the Ouija board, 1851 and 1940. Then her has her husband, her stepdaughter Mary there, and the rest of the family members. And then you have a little logo for her. the Talking Board Historical Society who donated and put up this new monument in 2018. And then on the back here, it says, it kind of describes her story um, about how the board spelled out Ouija. And then how she went to Washington to help get the patent. Well, it looks like back here people have left her cigarettes and there's a few coins there so that is the grave of Helen Peters Nosworthy the woman who named the Ouija board and helped get the patent. Thanks for watching. I will link um, the website to the Talking Board Historical Society as well as their video when they unveiled their monument here back in 2018, which is really interesting. So I just want to thank them for all the great research they did and to bring in attention to this uh, very interesting story. And I'm glad that Helen now gets the credit that she deserves so um hope you enjoyed this video and learning about her story uh, please like and subscribe for more videos and i will see you at the next grave thanks